The second technique we have in white box testing is decision coverage. Decision coverage or branch coverage cares about the answers of the questions. So in this code, input A and B, C equals A plus B, if C is greater than 100, print it's done. In statement coverage, we will make A plus B more than 100 and we are done. But in decision coverage, we need to test the question C is greater than 100 two times. One time when it is correct and one time when it is wrong. In decision coverage, we should draw something which is called control flow graph or CFG. So this is the control flow graph for this code. Start input A and B, C equals A plus B, and for the question C is greater than 100, we have two answers. Yes, then we will print it's done. No, we will do nothing and we will end the code. So how many test cases are needed to pass in all these decision outcomes? From the start to C is greater than 100, this is one test case, okay? This is one pass. But here we have two ways. So we have to use two test cases, one for the yes and one for the no. So here we use two test cases, the first A equals 50 and B equals 60, which means that C is greater than 100 and we will print it's done. The second test case, A equals 20 and B equals 10, then C is not greater than 100 and we will not print it's done. Let's try this in Python. Here is our code and we will run the first test case, 60 and 50, it's done. The second test case, we will run again, 20 and 10. Nothing happened and the code didn't crash, so our code is okay. The next example, the same example, but we added a new line. If A is greater than 50, print its pending. Like we said, in statement coverage, we will make A, for example, equal 60 and B equals 50. And this one test case will achieve 100% statement coverage. But for decision coverage, we need to draw the control flow graph first. This is a control flow graph. So the higher part of the control flow graph is the same as the previous example until this node here. Then we ask the question, A is greater than 50? If yes, we will print its pending. If no, we will do nothing. So here we will need two test cases. Why? We will need C to be greater than 100 at the same time when A is greater than 50. So we executed the two yes here. And then we need C to be less than or equal to 100 and A less than or equal to 50. So we execute no and no. Another solution is to use one test case for the yes and no, and another test case for the no and yes. The two solutions are correct. So here, the first test case, A equals 60, B equals 50, then C is greater than 100 and A is greater than 50. The second test case, A equals 20 and B equals 10, then C is not greater than 100 and A is not greater than 50. Let's execute it in Python. So we will write if A is greater than 50, print its pending, run, so 60 and 50, it's done, it's pending. Here we implemented or we executed yes and yes. Then let's run again. First number is 20, second number is 10, nothing happens and there's no problem with our code.